हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर पी आर चौधरी फ्रॉम के के वाग कॉलेज ऑफ फूड टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट प्री कूलिंग रैपिड रिमूवल ऑफ फील्ड हीट आफ्टर हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ द क्रॉप इज नोन एज प्री कूलिंग प्री कूलिंग इफ नॉट डन इमीडिएटली देर विल बी फास्टर डिटोरियरेशन एट हायर टेम्परेचर्स example if one hour the produce is kept at 32 degree celsius that means in the field level it is equal to the storage period of one day at 10 degree celsius or even if you lower the temperature furthermore it is equal to one week of storage at 0 degree celsius that means even if one hour if you delay the uh, removing field heat that can cost you one week of storage life of that produce therefore pre cooling as early as possible is always recommended and you have to bring that temperature to the storage temperature and relative humidity that means if the fruit is supposed to be stored at 10 degree celsius then you have to pre cool and remove the field heat as early as possible and bring that temperature down to 10 degree celsius and you you have to always keep in mind that the pre cooling temperature is above chilling or freezing injury temperature because if you take the temperature below 0 degree celsius that means you will damage the produce there are several advantages of pre cooling the first and foremost of it is it removes the field heat we saw if you don't remove the field heat quickly you are uh, reducing the uh, storage life of the produce second it also reduces the rate of respiration and therefore ripening we have already studied in the respiration lecture how if temperature increases the respiration also increases so bringing down the temperature you are reducing the respiration rate and simultaneously the ripening since you are bringing down the temperature you will also reduce the loss of moisture from the produce and it also helps to reduce bruise damage during transit since the produce is brought down to lower temperature it remains firm and doesn't soften and doesn't lose moisture easily so it will have less damage mechanical damage during transportation it also reduces the production of ethylene since you are bringing down uh, respiration you are bringing down the temperature you are reducing the ripening rate therefore it also influence influences the production of ethylene pre cooling also reduces or inhibits the growth of spoilage organisms as you lower the temperature microorganisms cannot grow properly therefore pre cooling also prevents their growth it also eases the load on cooling system of transport or storage ch uh, chamber meaning if you are bringing a produce which is at 35 degree celsius that is the field temperature and if you directly store it there will be more stress and load on the cooling system in the storage house or the cooling system in the transportation trucks so therefore pre cooling prevents bringing on the temperature and last factor is it also helps to extend the product shelf life since you are reducing transpiration respiration ethylene production ripening and also the microbial growth so all these factors contribute to increase the shelf life of the produce there are several factors which we have to keep in mind while uh, planning the pre cooling step first is the air temperature during harvesting what is the field temperature depending on that you need to uh, decide your pre cooling method or your pre cooling temperature next is the time between harvest and pre cooling so you have to keep the time between harvest and pre cooling as short as possible okay if you are delaying the pre cooling Uh, step that means you are uh, deal you are reducing the storage period of the produce another factor which plays important role is nature of the crop if it is a very highly perishable crop like asparagus you need to immediately pre cool that produce 
difference in temperature between the crop and the cooling method meaning if the uh, crop is at 30 degree celsius in the field and then you have to decide what will be your pre-cooling temperature example if it is 15 degree celsius so the difference between the two will also play important role in deciding the method of pre-cooling nature and velocity of the cooling medium what will be the nature of the cooling medium like whether you are going to use water whether you are going to use air conditioner or whether you are going to use forced ventilation depending on the if depending on that method you have to decide the pre-cooling factor next is the rate of transfer of heat from the crop to the cooling medium how fast the heat can transfer from the crop to the cooling medium example if water is the cooling medium how fast the uh, heat will transfer that will also affect the pre-cooling method and last is the type of packaging material being used in what packaging material you are going to store the produce in plastic containers in corrugated fiberboard boxes so that will also play the role in pre-cooling usually you have to use waterproof and ventilated boxes so that there will be good air circulation in the room as well as in the package and if there is good air circulation that means the produce will cool faster so how you will select the pre-cooling method there are two factors which play important role first is the nature of the produce meaning how is the produce whether it is perishable semi perishable what is the size of the produce okay uh, how much is the surface area of the produce if the surface area is more and the volume is less in example of leafy vegetables so such produce can be cooled very easily however in case of uh, fruits or vegetables having large volume but less surface area area example is your watermelon so in that case it takes more time to cool the produce okay next is the economics of the process uh, example you can use water for cooling which will be a cheaper method as co as compared to uh, forced air ventilation okay forced air ventilation will require more cost so these two factors will affect the pre cooling method selection and then there are two methods in which the heat is removed from the produce first is conduction and next is your convection conduction means the heat from the produce is brought from inside of the produce is brought to its surface area that is your conduction and convection means the heat is taken away from the produce uh, through a moving media example a moving water source or a moving uh, cool air will try to remove the heat from the produce so that is your convection depending on the size of your produce you can select either method of conduction or convection there are different types of pre-cooling method first is your cold air in which you have room cooling or forced air cooling room cooling means your room will be have uh, you will be using an air conditioner to bring down the temperature of the room and that's it using that method only you are reducing the temperature of the produce in forced air cooling you are using a fan or moving air to forcefully remove the temperature and bring down the temperature of the produce next is your cold water or hydro cooling meaning you are going to use water here as a source for removal of the heat of the produce next is top icing in this case you are using ice you put the ice on top of the produce and that ice will try will remove the heat from the produce this method is commonly followed in broccoli next is evaporation where you have evaporative cooling and vacuum cooling evaporation meaning as the water evaporates from the surface it brings down the temperature of the produce and next is hydro vacuum cooling in this method you are using water as as well as creating vacuum to remove the heat from the produce so this was short brief um, information about the different pre-cooling methods and factors affecting pre-cooling thank you